the children would stay one holiday with me and then the next holiday with my first wife. Then Catherine, the younger, came back down here to <laughs> go to the local polytechnic on the outdoor education course. And the thing I most remember is the fun we had playing. We had new kittens. Um, and there's a really cool photo of Kathy, Dad, and I with the kittens. I went to school with Catherine. She was brought up on the outdoors. She was brought up with science. That was, that was their life. She was small, energetic, and flitted from subject to subject, just like a butterfly. Friday, April 28th, 1995. Suddenly, my whole world crashed around me, along with a viewing platform at Cave Creek. With Cave Creek, there were a whole slew of mistakes which were not identified as such at the time and only became apparent when they all came together in a terrible tragedy. I'd been teaching last period in the afternoon and the school secretary came in and insisted that I had to uh, leave the room and somebody else would look after it. Nobody would tell me what was going on. When we went to the hospital, that was, we all sort of congregated at the hospital. Um, and it was about eight o'clock at night. We waited in this room. We waited, Lorraine and myself, we waited for two hours. Then a kind policeman came in. He had a list of those who had been on the trip. The kind policeman had put a tick and a cross by every name. Then he told us he was going to leave the room so we, the waiters, could actually look down and see what had happened. And Catherine's name had a cross against it. And that was that, you know. So, um, yeah, there was no crying, there was no stress, there was no anger. It was just, well, it possibly was all on the inside, or was on the inside, but not visible on the outside. I didn't take any time off school. I went straight in. <coughs> and I told the kids at assembly, and then I just carried on. That was all I could do. He didn't talk about Catherine's death at all. Uh, he got involved in the um, proceedings with, uh, with the court and the, well, the inquiry in, into the, the accident. Andrew McCarthy's daughter died that day. He's been representing himself at the inquiry and has his views on the workmanship. For the sake of the parents today and for the sake of kids in the future, we've got to find out everything we can to prevent any future tragedies. Dad went into, I need something to focus on. I need something else to put my brain into. And so he became very focused and very energised by what actually went wrong. What caused the platform at Cave Creek to fall? How did all of this happen? And he became really involved in the inquiry. Um, and I guess you could call that manic. Um, he was certainly highly involved, emotionally unavailable. He was caught up in what he was doing. Well, Mr McCarthy was a person who could easily have collapsed with the weight of personal tragedy that he had experienced. However, with the compensation money he received from the government, he helped fund a community centre for at-risk use, and as part of that, uh, a social worker was employed. The money was there, the money was needed here. What better place, whether it was to do with youth or just to help people in broad general terms, that one likes to think that despite the ups and downs, that one has helped people. And that's what we're here for, to help other people. <laughs>